Hello guys, this is Aiden Wastel Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this awesome song called Eye of the Tiger. It's really awesome. I'll give you a preview of the two sections you're going to learn. The first section is the iconic, iconic instrumental section that goes like this. I'll give you a preview. So it goes. Okay, so yeah, that's that. And then the other section is the awesome chorus section. It goes like this. of the tiger really awesome stuff okay so yeah that's the singing uh, chorus section but the most iconic section is obviously the first section the awesome instrumental okay but anyways yeah there's some techniques for this so let's go ahead and do it it's actually pretty simple the hard thing is just counting it and also the technique of it okay so this is what we do on the right hand is all C notes, repeating C notes in the middle C, okay? So you wanna do this repeating pattern uh, for these fingers. So this is a technique, I teach it in my courses as well. So you wanna, when you're playing the same note uh, repeatingly for a long period of time, you wanna uh, change fingers, okay? So it's like four, three, two, one on the C. So four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. And it helps to count as well because you are uh, like counting four at a time. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That, okay, so what you want to do, uh, like how many C's you want to play, okay, this is what you want to do. So you want to play eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it goes three plus three plus ten, okay, which is sixteen, which actually adds up to the sixteen, which is the uh, divisible uh, number, okay, so it just goes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. So the easy way to count that 16, uh, and also it helps you, is the three plus three plus 10, because you wanna do dun, 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 like that. It actually helps for the left hand afterwards as well. Okay, so yeah, we have eight of the C's, so eight plus 16 right now, we have 24. And then after that, we do another of the uh, 3 plus 3 plus 10, which is a 16 again. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that. And then the last one uh, is a bit more. This time we have the 3 plus 3 plus uh, the 18 this time, which is 24. So, uh, so yeah, 3 plus 3 plus the 18, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that. That's an easy way to count it. So 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 8 plus 8. Easy way to count that um, bigger number. Okay, but anyways, yeah, so that's that. So a lot of C's. Um, yeah, so keep that in mind. So first of all, we have 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's it. Okay? So yeah, that's what you want to remember approximately, but left hand when it comes in it should be a lot easier Okay, so the left hand is doing octaves if you can't do an octave just do individual notes Okay, some of you guys can't reach an octave so I know that but anyway just do one note if you can't reach an octave So this is what we do for the left hand bass note. So it goes C C B flat C C B flat C C down to G A flat that's the right hand. So if you can't see the notes, remember it's just an octave, okay? I'm just doing like like that, okay? So yeah, remember. So the notes one more time for this goes C, C, B flat, C, C, B flat, C, C, G, A flat. Okay, so remember that. Okay? So yeah, this is what we do. Okay. So first of all, the first C goes to the uh, group of uh, eight C's right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then after that, it goes three, three, which is one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we have the 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it does it again, the same thing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it goes similar. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, and then it just does another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then repeats, okay? So yes, remember? So it's always like this, okay? So, easier way to count it, okay? So take a pen out and remember the amount of counts of Cs per every left hand note. So the first C, first note, is eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, and then it goes ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then it goes three. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, and then for the A flat, it goes eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine. Okay, so yeah. For the 18, as I said before, the easier way to count is 2 plus 8 plus 8, okay? So remember that. So you can be like, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that, okay? So yeah, one more time. So it goes, 8, 3, 3, 10, 3, 3, 10, 3, 3, 18, okay? So remember those numbers, okay? Just, just like rewind the video and remember those numbers. Those numbers correspond to the amount of C's you do for the right hand, okay? So like this. Repeats. Like that. So yeah, you want to build up the speed, okay? That's the hard thing. The right hand, this uh, technique, it's a bit difficult for beginners, but should be all right. Just practice it and then, uh, yeah. So you wanna put your hand in a, a sort of an angle here so it's easier to kind of play. Because if you play like this, it, it works too, but it's a bit harder for beginners, okay? Okay. Okay, so you wanna play it fast, okay? Practice that. Okay, but anyways, that's the technique that you should practice on the right hand. But anyway, regardless, let's move on to the other section now. So the uh, singing chorus section. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's break it up into parts. How many parts? Okay, break it up into like maybe like four parts. All right, so here we go. First part goes F, G, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, G, F, E flat, E flat, F, G, F. And that's the first part. One more time for this first part. So it goes F, G, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, G, F, E flat, E flat, F, G, F. And that's the right hand for the first part. Once you get that left hand, three chords here, the three chords are F minor, which is F, A flat, C. Second chord is first inversion of E flat major, which is G, B flat, E flat. And then the third chord is B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. So with these three chords in mind, so F minor, first inversion, E flat major, and B flat major. The two hands together goes like this, right hand starts first, after G, F minor by itself. Second E flat and the next chord together, after F, B flat major together, by itself I mean, sorry. Like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Here. Together. Here. Just like that for the first part. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues, it goes F, G, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, G, F, E flat, G, F. And that's the second part for the right hand. One more time like this, it goes F, G, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, G, F, E flat, G, F. And that's the right hand for this second part. Okay, so once you get that right hand there, left hand, uh, three chords here, the three chords are F minor, which is F, A flat, C. Second chord is C minor, which is C, E flat, G. Third chord is B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, so F minor, C minor, and B flat major. The two hands together goes like this, right hand starts. A flat and F minor together. G and C minor together. F and B flat major together. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. One more time. Together. 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 Okay, then moving on. The um, the let me see. Okay, something awesome happens here. The third part is pretty much exactly the same as the first part, but with the exception, the first A flat goes with the F minor chord. So it goes together like that. So yeah, it's the 
same notes and everything, but the exception of that, the first A flat goes to the F minor chord instead of being in between the G and A flat, okay, for like the first part. But anyway, yeah, one more time for this third part. So it goes, together, together, here. Okay, so let's actually finish off the fourth uh, part as well, then we uh, recap it. Okay, and right hand for this fourth part changes, goes, F, G, A flat, G, A flat, B flat, A flat, C, C, down to F, E flat, F, E flat. And that's the right hand for this fourth part. One more time, so it goes like this, goes F, G, A flat, G, A flat, B flat, A flat, C, C, down to F, E flat, F, E flat. And that's the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have a bunch of chords here. We have five chords here, okay, a lot of passing chords. So it goes F minor, F, A flat, C. Second chord is G minor, G, B flat, D. Third chord is A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. Fourth chord is B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. And fifth chord is C minor, which is C, E flat, G. Okay, so with those five chords in mind, so it kind of goes up steps. So it's got F minor, G minor, A flat major, B flat major, C minor. So remember those five chords. Once you do, the two hands together goes like this. Okay, right hand starts. A flat and F minor together. B flat and G minor together. 2nd C and A flat major together, B flat major by itself, after F, C minor by itself, just like that. One more time, goes like this, together, 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 here, here, and that's it. Yeah, so back to back, all four parts, you just play like this, check it out. Afterwards, you can actually add more stuff to make it bigger if you want. You can add more like chordal uh, uh, combinations with the right hand melody, and then left hand can do more bass notes. Okay, you can play another octave higher, so it goes something like this. Okay, let me see. Let's make up something on the spot. Awesome stuff, okay? So that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial. And yeah, check out the rest of my channel. I have literally multiple thousands of these piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So a lot of stuff. If you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff, then go ahead, check it out. You can learn it from my piano course uh, website, linked in the description below. It's called bestpianomethod.com. So you can um, learn it for yourself. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.